Hi. History of Freemasonry is a history of confrontation, is it? Sometimes we research the Masonic history based on anti-Masonic documents or on the publications about secret societies, like this Catholic Church document issued in 1326. It tells about prohibition of secret societies that gather together under the cover of secrecy and their masters uh, have their obligations to support each other and use secret signs. By the way, this document could support the legend about a link between Templars destroyed 14 years before this document and uh, Freemasonry. Uh, we can really follow the Freemason history and its uh, roots with the satiric publication. Here the original title page of the first edition of Ben Johnson's Alchemist from 1610. Uh, where he criticized future, future Masonic ideals by, based on alchemy, uh, ancient Egypt, and Pythagoreanism. Um, here we, saw, we, we have uh, soft critics of Freemasonry uh, from inside, like uh, uh, this portrait of drunk master Mason accompanied by the warden. It's the William Hogarth's work with the first half of uh, 18th century. Here is also his work about uh, Gormagons. Uh, it's a movement into the Freemasonry and uh, it's about its influence uh, uh, to the main person of uh, Freemasonry of this time, uh, James Anderson. Here is he captured by the donkey and monkey uh, procession. Here is a Dutch graver from the uh, 1747. Uh, it's an attempt to expose Freemasonry, but the author doesn't know about uh, Freemasonry, uh, so we can't find here any sign of Freemasons or ritual things. We can see just drunk people in the pub. Uh, but uh, this satire is not the worst thing about anti-Masonic, about uh, Freemasonry. Um, starting from uh, Freemasonry prehistoric times, Freemasons and their predecessor, predecessors, Rosen Craig's work accused of creation deep state, using conspiracy for their girls and to take control of whole world or each children. Say hi to today's going on. Of course, Freemasons were all blamed to make revolutions, like this French picture. And uh, this is real French Revolution bulletins include uh, signs uh, looking very much like Masonic. But French Revolution is a clear example uh, of dissociation of different uh, uh, roots of Freemasonry. So during French Revolution, first Masons cut heads of other Masons by the device invented by the third Freemason guillotine. French Revolution, French Revolution pushed uh, uh, anti-Masonic moods and uh, this kind of publications. Here is a text of uh, um, Abbe Barre. Um, it's about uh, connection between Freemasons, Jews and revolutionaries. And of course, all times Freemasons were accused of Satanism. Uh, here are gravures from Leo Taxil, anti-Masonic books from the end of 19th century. And uh, here the Russian book about protocols of elders of Sion. It's issued in uh, 1912. Uh, Anti-Semitic and anti-Masonic book, the main source for most of Russians to hear about Freemasonry for the first time. I've got the same information from my grandmother, by the way. And the final point of our anti-Masonic observation is the Nazi propaganda. It began in the uh, 30s of 20th century. Nazis destroyed all Masonic lodge in uh, occupied territories, killed and uh, prisoned Freemasons. And here we have uh, um, brochures uh, from Germany of uh, 30s. Here is a French magazine of 40s. And here is a local Latvian a magazine with an anti-Masonic uh, text uh, from 1942. Uh, so, this is a lot more to say about anti-Masonic propaganda. And therefore, we have a separate room in our museum dedicated to it. But to make this happen, please visit our website, masonicmuseum.eu. 
um, all our pages on social media. There you can uh, watch weekly video about different aspects of Freemasonry. Next will be about roots of Freemasonry. Thank you for watching this video. Please donate us using the donate link on our website. And see you next week. Bye.